question, like, like you said, like you said, you've been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? I can't imagine all the things you're talking about. Um, what's some of your advice to people going through that? Because a lot of people out here is going through a lot of other things. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, people are suicidal. I know a lot of people aren't killing themselves. So what some advice you have for people like that? The best advice I can give the people with that is to be grounded in yourself. Know who the fuck you are. And I know it might be hard and easier said than done, but to understand what's going on around you is to understand who you are. And understand what's going on. Understand who you are. First, it should come from your house. You got to know who's around you. You got to know everything, bro. You got you to gotta go through something to get somewhere. And I'm sorry, it's sad to say it like that, but to people that's actually going through these problems, these mental issues and things like that, you got to literally understand everything that's happening and look at it like this is not by mistake. Every fucking thing that ever happened to me in my life was not by mistake, bro. And that was a little bit of what I just told you, but trying to tell you. I am not angry at nothing that happened in my life because for every action is a reaction. God got a bigger plan for me. But it's just like, like I said, you got to go through something to get somewhere. I lost brothers. I lost friends. I lost family members. I'm talking about physically, I lost brothers. And then when it comes down to... No battery. No battery. When it comes down... No battery. When it comes down to relationships and things of that nature... I may have lost relationships, but obviously they weren't supposed to be there. You know, um, like I'm gonna say this one more time. You gotta go through something to get somewhere. Can I look at the camera and say this? Go ahead. You have to go through something to get somewhere. Now, I literally can say I've been through fucking hell. And in this quadriplegic state that I'm in, I'm fucking happy. I'm happy. I'm not happy that when I go out for my son to have fun, when we sitting there and it's time for him to eat, I'm just waiting for him to finish eating so I can eat. I'm not happy at that, but guess what? This is the way God ordained it. This is the way it gotta go. Because there's people all around the fucking world that was born with no arms, that eat with their feet. They ain't complaining. The fuck I'm complaining for? What the fuck are you complaining for? You got hands, you got legs, you got a mental, you got family. What you complaining for? Gotta be grateful. What are you grateful for? That's what we ask the people. What you grateful for? Fuck who you hate. What you grateful for? I'm grateful for everything that I went through in my life. Everything. Prison. Hardships. Everything. They say three hardships is what? They say three hardships are two reliefs. You go through three hardships, you get two reliefs. So you got to go through something to get somewhere, bro. I'm not, I'm not angry with nothing or nobody. And, like, you know, that's, that's what I felt when I met you. I remember my, like, each of the energy was just, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I met you, you wanted to pull up still, you feel me? Still want to go in the bar. I'm still, I'm like, fucked up. I still yeah, want to work. Yeah. It's not, as the energy. It's no, ain't no flags, bro. It's no flags, bro. What do you think about that, though? That's the one, right? We got mango, lavender, strawberry, honey, vanilla. You know what I'm saying? Lavender. I said lavender, lavender guy. Lavender for the chill. I can be laid back with the lavender. Yeah, yeah.